Hi, it's Kevin Neal, and welcome to my new chat show called Hiking with Kevin. My first guest today is going to be Matthew Modine. You know him from Full Metal Jacket. You know him more recently from Stranger Things, big hit show. Looking forward to talking to him. Matthew, what's your passion these days? My passion these days is to breathe. You know, breathing, it's, uh, it's essential to life. Uh, I've discovered that recently as I've uh, reached my 50s. Uh -huh. Breathing is very important. Yeah, and you staying busy these days? Uh, no, I'm actually unemployed, and uh, that's why I have time to go hike with my friend Kevin on his new television show. I figured this could be an opportunity for me to uh, expand yeah. my career. Well, it's exciting. It's, it's exciting having you as my first guest. Thank you. I'm honored to be here. What was it like working with Francis Ford Coppola? Hey, Stanley Kubrick. Right? Stanley Kubrick? Stanley Kubrick, yeah. That's right. Yeah. What movie was that again? It was, uh, what was the name of it now? It's, uh, something jacket, metal. Metal, full, full, full metal jacket. Full metal jacket. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. No, isn't it, <clears throat> isn't it true that Kubrick had a fear of flying? No, it was, uh, it was all a big lie. He, uh, he actually loved flying but it was a way of him uh, getting people to come to him so he wouldn't have to fly to them. It was all a great manipulation. Yeah. Wow, he's a, he's a better actor than a director then. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. You're yeah. saying that Stanley Kubik, is it Kubik? Rick. 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 That's, I'm thinking of the uh, Rubik's Cube. Yeah. He's not a director. Okay. Okay, so. So there's no bad ideas for no bad ideas for Stanley. No bad. Just better ideas, you know, progressive thinking. Liberal, he encouraged you liberal thoughts to just time. give ideas, right? Conservatism, conservatism. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, he liked what was that guy. I don't know. It wasn't Kubik, I'll tell you that. Or Kubik. It took him a while for him to uh, trust you. Yeah, yeah. It took him a while to trust. Yeah, like about a month, you know, yeah. and then we became good friends and he uh, invited me into his home and we had dinner together, we broke bread. Indian, Indian bread, non, non bread. Sometimes a puri. So the bread didn't really exist? None? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Any movies you turned down that you regret? No, there's no regrets in life. Only. Only what you did. Yeah. Yeah. What no movies? Would've, could'ves, or should'ves. Only done dids. What movies did you turn down? Top Gun. Yeah. Yeah. Which role? Maverick. Maverick. Wow. Yeah. But can you imagine me playing Tom Cruise's part? I can't. No. I did. You know, Full Metal Jacket, Private Joker. That's right. Yeah. Nobody could do that. When that. we hosted, when we hosted Saturday Night Live, and we did our sketch. We'd have been doing Maverick instead of instead of uh, Full Metal Jacket. That's right. Hill Hartman playing the drill instructor. What Wait, else did you turn on? Wall Street. Wall Street. You turned on Wall Street? Yeah, Charlie Sheen's part. Oh man. I wanted to read the script, and and this guy Oliver Stone, he said, "Well, I don't have the whole script." And I said, "Well, um, I'll wait till you have the script." And he said, "Well, oh, I'll you're send being you. Cocky. I'll send you some scenes." And I said, "No, it's okay. You don't have to send me any scenes. Just send me the script when you finish writing." And he got kind of angry with me. You would have been on Two and a Half Men. <laughs> or was it Two Broke Girls? Which one was he on? <laughs> Any other movies? Back to the Future. You turned on Back to the Future? Yes. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which Steven role? Spielberg's still laughing about that one. Which role? Uh, the Michael J. Fox part. Oh, you're too tall for that role. I, I agree with you. They, you know, they were replacing Eric Stoltz. Eric Stoltz was the, the first choice for the film. Yeah. And he was playing the part, and then something happened, and Eric Stoltz had to leave, and they said, I've got 24 hours to make a decision whether or not you want to play this part. Wow. And uh, I read it, and I, I wanted to know why they were letting Eric Stoltz go, and they couldn't give me a reason. And uh, so I said, well, I might, I might have the same problem that Eric Stoltz has. So I, I passed on it. And plus, you know, Steven Spielberg wasn't directing it. It was just some guy named Robert Zemeckis. Ah. Who, who'd ever heard of Zemeckis? I know, right? Yeah, what an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I, I never turned on any roles. Never? Everything I've been offered, I've taken. Oh. What? <laughs> what 
What's the shooting schedule like on Stranger Things? Wait, there's a. Hi. Hey, yeah. Hi, hi. Hey, yeah. What's the, what's the shooting schedule? Yeah. Like? Yeah, we do. We work. We get up in the morning and, and uh, you know, they give us a call sheet. And we, okay. We, yeah. Okay, that's good. Hey, Kev, you said we were going to go on a hiking trail, not a damn donkey trail. So, so what's um, like a you know audition process like for you? Yeah, audition we did. We uh, I did. We there was a. Uh, we, uh, did, we had a, and then we we go when we, you we'd be a room and a camera, <coughs> and uh, Rubik would uh, put the camera and. Uh, to say action, action. When, when did you do that? We, uh, we had, and we, uh, we, uh, we had. But you know, when you did it, how long? Did that. And sometimes it'd be a tea break. Tea. And then one time, you know, the kids, the kids, they were. They but were, when you, when you first, when we, you first started. Yeah. The. Uh, yeah. What's yeah, that? Kids. They were great, terrific. Yeah, the kids were wonderful. That's the show for today. I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank my first guest, Matthew Modine. Thank you, Matthew.